Okay, we are pleased to introduce today Mr. Joshua Dekuz and his parents. Uh, Mr. Joshua Dekuz is a 15-year-old boy from the Holy Cross Con uh, Convent School, Bastara, who has just topped uh, with uh, the Goa Board 10th Center with 82.8%. Uh, and he is going forward to do his uh, 11th Center Science in St. Xavier's Mapsa. What makes him an inspiration to many persons with disability is that he was born 15 years ago with, with just one hand and no legs. And that's and besides his academic interest, he uh, without uh, without a hand and legs, he can he is a master in six musical instruments, and he also likes to play uh, play football. He is a great inspiration to persons with disability, and it is also a message to parents of children with disabilities because 15 years ago, the doctors had told his parents to abort the child because he would be born with abnormal, uh, abnormality. Uh, and it is shocking that today, in spite of advanced age and technology, doctors are still advising the parents to uh, abort children because they will be born with a disability or with, uh, with some defects. So we have today a very inspirational story for you in, uh, in Joshua Dekus. And we also have his parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dekus, who will share with you his life journey? Speak. Yeah. Speak. How was your day? Uh, when uh, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, when uh, I was uh, to be born, three months in my mother's stomach during her pregnancy, the doctors told her that I had no limbs, no and no hand, only one hand I had. So they were like to ask my mother to abort. Tell about your school journey and how your school journey. So, so during my school journey, uh, first I was studying in Kendra Vidyalaya Pambodim from uh, first standard to th uh, second standard and in pre-primary at Mercury Army School. So they at the age of seven, I played drums at the age of six, sorry. I played drums over there at Kala Academy and Brigadier General Lieutenant Kocha had come to see me. Also, I play six musical instruments as it has been introduced before to you. Also, my hobbies are foot playing football, even swimming I do at Padem. And I even play chess and have represented the school at chess tournament also at Padem in the school tournament of chess, North Goa. How was the, the school support in the school? And the Both the schools provided me very good support. Uh, even my friends also played a main role. Like uh, we, the school had accessible ramps, lifts also. But my friends were a main key role because they pushed me along in not only in my tension, the whole life, as well as KV, as well as Holy Cross. The schools were very cooperative. They encouraged me, they treated me as a normal child. They did not treat me as a disabled person. But they treated me as a normal child. And I believe as a human being, see, I am a human being. I have a complete functional brain. I believe that I am a normal human being like all of you. And nothing makes me separate or special in a way. I am though a little bit special, but not a lack of anything. See, I may not have hands and legs, but my brain is complete, so I can do anything. I can even uh, write stories, everything I can do. What you can do, I can do the same thing. We hope to know that you play some six or five or six, some music. Yes. Do you want to do, pursue uh, your career in a short field or you want to do something? Uh, well, I want to do electronics engineering. I, originally, I wanted to do aeronautic engineering, but it's not available in Goa. It's available in Bangalore, Kanpur, in Chandigarh, in IITs that thing. So like if I'll go, I'll go out of Goa for that thing or otherwise I'll do electronics engineering. Yeah, music as con concerned, I will not leave at all. I will continue the hobby side by side. Same time I'll give for education, same time for music as well. Which are the six instruments you play? Okay, I play the keyboard, the drums, the acoustic guitar, the bass guitar, the electric guitar and the African uh, percussion instrument it is as known as jambe yeah what is your message to other disabled persons and parents okay the uh, to my message to other disabled persons and their parents is that 
never give up don't take negative thoughts people might say negative thoughts to you but it doesn't mean that you have to take it inside just brush it off it comes here just leave it over here forgive and forget because they might suggest your negativity they might even say negative things to you doesn't mean that who you are it's like god created you no no do not commit suicide because no matter who many people might not love you but god will love you because he has created you and he will never waste his creation like that he will always love his creation like even if we create or make something we will love that right or we'll throw that in the dustbin we we'll love that right so in the same in the way god will also love you so don't commit suicide and my message is not give up try pursue you will fail one time you'll fail the second time but at least once you will pursue you no know, you will complete you will pass once you pass you can master the thing so to keep on trying and do not stop trying and i would also like to thank god for giving me this opportunity he has also brought me because of god only i am till this stage or till this uh, stage till the, i have got this opportunity i would also like to thank sir avinino desai i would also like to thank sir prakash kamath also that they have given me this opportunity and i would also thank you all for taking the video press thank you so much How did you meet us, sir? We met. We came to know through the news actually, and that's how we went to his house that we we met him. So, if as a person, do you feel Goa has become a Awareness is needed more support and the attitude of people like some places I go, other they bab dek they are they, munche tuk zada ni they munta di. But that that people should like change of like see it happens feelings happens you get it happens it conveys on your face you know but doesn't mean like some people believe because I don't believe particularly so superstitions yeah and at beaches you need more of support. Cooperation and also some ramp should be done at beaches because in the sand, as you all know, wheelchair cannot go in the sand. It will sink up, right? We as disabled kids also want to go at the beaches, but so many people cannot just walk on the sand because it's hot. It might even cut because as far as I walk, my legs get cut off if I walk too much on the sand because glass beer beer, beer bottles glasses are there on the beach that should be cleaned off, cleansed off, and ramp should be made. Till the water at least, or below that, everywhere. Not even one beach has ramps. Friends, hello, Mr. Yeah, I would say that you know, he is a gift of God for us. We really love him, and he has far exceeded our expectations. I can say like that we are quite proud of him. When we knew about his condition in the third month, we decided that we will. Not go according to, to the advice of or the medical or professional advice, but we will go with an ethical advice, and that's how we thought. Like you know, let him continue. We will give him life and take care of him. Also. What we need to do is just you know give give him support, whatever support he needs. And we have come across people of all walks of life. We can say like you know, there have been supportive people. There have been people who have not been that supportive. Some people have been neutral, but that's okay. But The positive thing is that we need to continue, and he has been continuing marching on, you know, regardless of all these things. Thank you. Hmm. 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 Okay, and uh, uh, professional colleges should have a five percent reservation for persons with disabilities. Okay, and uh, all schools, all colleges uh, should have access access barrier free infrastructure as well as reasonable accommodation should be provided to persons with disabilities. Anybody uh, facing problems in getting admission, they can contact us because there is penal action under the Disability Act. For uh, for not giving admission to deny uh, to persons with disabilities, not providing facilities to persons with disabilities. Okay, so bring it to our notice. We will take it up with the state disability commissioner. 
or anybody also can contact directly to the state disability commissioner thank you sir thank you uh, first of all thank you for all of you because when you all gather and inspire us and uh, this this way so children like them also get encouraged and they feel they can do something in their future so i give thanks to all and uh, organization also and uh, when i was third month uh, pregnant doctor told about his condition that he don't have both the legs and without thigh so you cannot put the artificial legs also because he's directly on the hip bone so and right hand is also short so they told all to about the child i said no if the child is living breath is there we keep the child so we continued uh, we waited knowing everyone was after us so we waited till 5 months because we know government rules will not allow us after 5 months to abort the child so we, after that we didn't go to any doctor we waited till 5 months so that afterward they cannot do anything so then afterward i went to native place and uh, both the side both the family side there was a cooperation and the best part is that all school first he was in army school they cooperated us and they said because he was two years that time only he knew all the tables two to eight and all the leaders names and all to see what a child should know in third and fourth standard he knew in a two years age and he played the uh, uh, brigadiers and all this they came and they encouraged him and the blessed time was there when he came in the holy cross school and uh, uh, nuns uh, the teachers told now you all do, don't come we will take care of the child so we only have to drop him in the school and come to pick up so but rest all the duty they have done for the children they give their duty so they should also know how to handle the child how to behave with the child so this thing they moral they have taught in the school and uh, this was when he born that time as i was a teacher in the school science teacher so when he born when i saw my first thought was i thought that i will make his education his identity and uh, both of us together we thought now we will and we never put him in the house not uh, don't allow to know we have taken him everywhere agra delhi bombay just uh, explore the thing and beaches and meet the people taj mahal people speak it does but he is very strong for it is inbuilt of god gift he is very strong he never took anything inside if people laugh or do anything they question he just smile and is very humorous and he never allow us to feel that that he is lacking anything and he he does everything by his own dressing up bath moving out running around and this during 10th 10th standard time he did very good in first f1 f2 very good okay. he did above 80% internal he got but when the prelims came so because he was coming 330 from the school extra classes were there and the french class and other studies were there because of that he was not able to do personal practice so uh, prelims exam is uh, this percentage went down so that was shocking for him then he said no i will now i will do the practice so two months, sixteen to eighteen hours, he used to study. At four o'clock, he used to get up. Every three three hours, he would study one hour gap. Three hours study one hour gap. Like that, he was doing the studies, and he uh, did all the solution of uh, thirteen years papers, March and October papers. Thirteen years he solved, read the whole textbook in two months, sixteen to eighteen hours he studied, and he did the his his own practice. The main I want to say. When we learn, that is good. But own practice for the tenth standard student is very important. And parents should sit with the children what they are doing. It's just not leave on the children. And I say for parents and other children, please give the children chance to live in this world. Who knows in this world what child, which child will come and what they can do for the whole world. What they can bring, the, like Einstein. So many people are there. What change they can come as a scientist or whatever. so we should we should be gather and take courage to build up the child in the right path and allow them to come in this world we have no rights to kill the child yes. thank you uh, what was the reason for choosing king david mark after 10 yeah because it has accessibility number one lift is there all the uh, lifts are in all the buildings because it you know i mean plus it has a location Yeah, I will also one more thing. I will say for the other college, they don't have lift or ramp proper facility for the children. 
so other colleges till 10 many everybody because of the election duty they are making the ramp in the school but colleges don't have so co other colleges also should have uh, Saint Xavier is having lift and uh, ramp but rest all the college should also have for them 